Hi, for this video, I'm going to show you how to find the number of combinations possible given a set number of objects. So in this case, what we have is an ice cream shop offers 15 different toppings for their ice cream sundaes. How many different ways can a person select the following? So the first one that we're going to do is five toppings. And for this, the reason it's a combination and not a permutation is because the order doesn't matter. Let's say that I picked hot fudge as my first topping and sprinkles as my second. Well, if I happen to pick sprinkles first and then hot fudge, it doesn't make a difference because it's the same combination. Okay, so if order doesn't matter, then you're going to use combinations. And remember the formula for combinations is NCR is equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. And majority of graphing calculators have this programmed into it. So um, all graphing calculators, sorry, have that majority of scientific calculators also have this in there. So if you don't want to use the formula and do hand calculations, you can find it on your calculator. But for the purpose of this one, I'm going to show you how to simplify this using hand calculations. So for this, what we have is 15 things that we are taking five at a time. So n is always the larger number. R is always the number that you are selecting. Okay, so when we set this up, we would plug it in as 15 factorial over 15 minus 5 factorial times 5 factorial. And that bottom part, what we can do is we can simplify this part right here. 15 minus 5 ends up giving us 10 factorial times 5 factorial. And you'll notice that these two numbers down here always will add up to be the top number. So um, they will always add up to be the same thing. 10 plus 5 gives me 15. So now what we want to do is simplify this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop when I get to the larger one at the bottom. So since 10 factorial is the larger one, I'm going to write out 15 factorial until I get to 10 factorial. And the reason I do that is because 15 factorial will continue on with using the 10 times 9 times 8 all the way down to 1 and it takes up a lot of space. So by doing this, because I have 10 factorial in both the numerator and the denominator, they end up just canceling each other out. So the five factorial, I'm gonna go ahead and expand this one. So this would be five times four times three times two times one. Okay, and so then when we simplify this, 10 factorial reduces, five goes into 15, three times, four times three gives me 12, so this would cancel, and 14 divided by two is seven. So what we have now is a lot easier to plug into our calculator if we don't have the factorial or the NCR button. So what we would do is just multiply three times seven, so the 21 times the 13 times the 11, okay? And you end up with 3,003 different combinations of 15 toppings that are taken five at a time. Okay, so again, when you're simplifying this, stop at the one that's largest because then it's less work. Um, you can always write it all the way out. It just takes up a lot more room. So the second one that I wanted to look at is when we have three toppings. So for this one, we would do 15 C three. So when we set this up, it would still be 15 factorial over 15 minus three factorial times three factorial. Okay, so if I simplify the 15 minus three, this time I'm gonna stop at 12 factorial in the numerator because of the fact that 12 is my larger value. So since this is my larger value, that's where I'm going to stop. Okay, so I would write it as 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 factorial over 12 factorial times, and then 3 factorial is just 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, so now we could go through and simplify. The 12 factorials cancel out. 
15 divided by 3 gives me 5, and 14 divided by 2 gives me 7. So I can just reduce it. You can always multiply first and then divide, but to me it's easier just to get to smaller numbers. So we would just multiply 5 times 7 times 13, which ends up giving us 455. Okay, so again, just to recap, anytime you have combinations where you're selecting things and the order doesn't matter, you're going to use this formula. Um, like I said, this is programmed in most calculators. I will show it um, on how to use the TI-84 and the TI-Inspire graphing calculators to find this, um, but you should look around your calculator and see if you can find it. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know as well, and please consider subscribing.